humans. Without a doubt, the smartest animal on Earth. Yet we're unmistakably tied to our ape origins. Millions of years ago, we were apes living ape lives in Africa. So how did we get from that to this? What happened? What set us on the path to humanity? The questions are huge, but at last, there are answers. More than six million years ago, we took that first step to separate from the apes. We see the launching of the career that ultimately led to Homo sapiens. And three million years ago, we see the roots of our big brain begin to take hold in a tiny creature more like a chimp than a human. The frontier of human evolution is really being brought to this razor-sharp edge. And we now know that for millions of years, many different human-like species lived together on the planet until one day there was only us, Homo sapiens, the most complex, adaptable animal on Earth. So how did we get this way and why? Today is my second week of school. Taking up again my biology class, which I found totally old. Doing those good works to make the sick.
opposite to the inductor reasoning, which is uh, from general observations to specific observations. Born on February 12, 1809 at Shrewsbury, England. His father was a medical doctor, and his mother died when he was eight. Darwin was not a brilliant student as a child. School to him, though, was entirely a blank, but he went on to university at Edinburgh, Scotland, at first intending to become a doctor. Darwin took a strong dislike to medical education and eventually studied at Cambridge. He planned to become a minister before becoming intensely interested in botany. He received a degree in 1831. Voyage of the Beagle On the recommendation of a college professor, Darwin was accepted to travel on the second voyage of the HMS Beagle. The ship was embarking on a scientific expedition to South America and the islands of the South Pacific, leaving in late December 1831. The Beagle returned to England nearly five years later, in October 1836. Darwin spent more than 500 days at sea and about 1,200 days on land during the trip. He studied plants, animals, fossils, and geological formations and wrote his observations in a series of notebooks. During long periods at sea, he recognized his notes. Publication of Darwin's Masterpiece Darwin's reputation as a naturalist and geologist had grown throughout the 1840s and 1850s, yet he had not revealed his ideas about natural selection widely. Friends urged him to publish them in the late 1850s, and it was publication of an essay by Alfred Russell Wallace expressing similar thoughts that encouraged Darwin to write a book setting out his own ideas. In July 1858, Darwin and Wallace appeared together at the Linnean Society of London. And in November 1859, Darwin published the book that secured his place in history. 
on the origin of species by means of natural selection. Darwin inspires controversy. Charles Darwin was not the first person to propose that plants and animals adapt to circumstances and evolve over aeons of time. But Darwin's book put forth his hypothesis in an accessible format and led to controversy. Darwin's theories had an almost immediate impact upon religion, science, and society at large. As Later Life On the Origin of Species was published in several editions, with Darwin periodically editing and updating material in the book. And while society debated Darwin's work, he lived a quiet life in the English countryside, content to conduct botanical experiments. He was highly respected, regarded as a grand old man of science. When he died in 1881, he was honored by being buried in Westminster Abbey in London. Science would be where it is today if it wasn't for Darwin. He wanted to know how the whole of the natural world interconnected. One of the astonishing things about Darwin's thinking was the way that he always asked questions. And we can see it from an incredibly early age that he always wanted to know things. Darwin was a man who I think was always prepared to keep looking at things, not to rule things out. As scientists, we have to be really careful because it's very easy to get locked in by your ideas or by the search image that you have when you go to the field. If he was here today, he would be very disappointed in the evidence for his whole theory of evolution. The demonstration that this bench evolution could occur very rapidly is, was, was, was shocking in itself. In fact, he says in his book, um, this ought to be tested. My theory ought to be tested. <laughs> I don't have any idea about the dream. All I can say is that it's all about Charles Darwin, his life, and how he came up to his theory. And yes, I can do something about our assignment. Gonna make it right away. Thanks God. From now on, I'm gonna change and try harder in my studies. Who knows, I'm gonna be the next Charles Darwin.
sir. Thanks a lot. Hope you reach your dream. <laughs> yeah. Hi, sir. Thank you sa lessons and the guys ko sa chicken shirt, shirt, polo shirts and everything. The guys ko sa mga to answer. Happy voyage. Bon voyage. The guys ko sa mga toads. Pagkumani mo, Doktor Sir, nabalik ni Riz, Sir. Thank you, Sir, Sir. Mang Riz, 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 ka. Sir, dala si Charles Darwin di Riz, Sir. Nag-effort na ba, Miss Sir? Oo. Sa effort, nandiyan sa 